and welcome to the Tuesday, July 9th, 2024 meeting of the Air Planning Board. This meeting hearing of the Air Planning Board will be held in person at the location provided on this notice. Members of the public are welcome to attend this in-person meeting. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation via Zoom is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in a specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. This meeting will be live on Zoom. The public may access the proceedings by joining Zoom meeting ID number 833-6548-0732 or by calling 929-205-6099. For additional information about remote participation, please contact Danny Ruiz, Town Planner, at druiz at air.ma.us or 978-772-8220, extension 144, prior to the meeting. Uh, First order of business to approve the agenda. I just want to let everyone know of a, of a, a slight ch of change. Oh, um, I think we're muted. We are? That's okay. Go oh, for it. You gotta do Sorry. It. Sorry about do that. Do I have to reread this? Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, boy. You want me to? This meeting, hearing <laughs> of the Air Planning Board will be held in person at this location at the location provided on this notice. Members of the public are welcome to attend this in-person meeting. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation via Zoom is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in a specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. This meeting will be live on Zoom. The public may access the proceedings by joining Zoom meeting ID number 833-6548-0732 or by calling 929-205-6099. For additional information about remote participation, please contact Danny Ruiz, Town Planner at druiz at air.ma.us or 978-772-8220 extension 144 prior to the meeting. Hello and welcome everyone. I, 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 for, sorry for the lateness, but we're ready to go. A uh, couple of things I want to point out. One is that, um, before we approve the agenda, one is that uh, Alan will not, Alan Minoy will not be joining us to do a presentation. We've invited him to the next meeting. Uh, the second thing is that um, this meeting may be brisk. And for anyone who's wondering why things are moving so quickly, it's because we did the deliberations of previous meetings. We've done thorough deliberations. And so while deliberation can and may happen at this meeting, uh, just be aware that we've already accomplished a lot, so we're going to move to findings and decisions fairly quickly. Yes, Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Before we do the agenda, I'm sorry that Alan won't be here this evening, but we do, if I, if I rec recollect, we have a fairly uh, detailed meeting. Our next meeting is going to have Stratton come back to us and some other stuff. Uh, not the no. July 24th. Okay. The Stratton's going in. Well, I was, gonna, I was just going to ask that um, it would be very helpful if uh, Mr. Minoyan is going to do a presentation to us. If he could get it to us before the meeting, that would be very, very helpful. Sure. If yeah. you can make that request, I'd appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him and uh, have that. Uh, Thanks. Great. Um, uh, move to approve the agenda Do as uh, modified by the chair. Second. Uh, Ken, how do you vote? Yes. Jeff? Tillotson, aye. Uh, Kathleen? Yes. And the chair votes aye. So the agenda's approved. The first. And Julie's on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not used to Zoom. Julie, I'm sorry. I, I'm not used to the Zoom. How do you vote? I, I, I say yes. I, it's you nice. My apologies. I'm just not accustomed. Just thank you for reminding <laughs> me. Uh, so the first item is, uh, uh, I think we, do, we, need, we don't need a continuance of the public meeting because the public meeting does require that. So the first item is One New England Way, which is a modern modification of the site plan we've already uh, uh, made a decision on. And um, but so we um, we no, have I mean the original, not yes. the modification. That Correct. This is a project that came to us I think over a year ago, and the applicant is requesting a minor modification. We have deliberated in the past and reviewed the site plans. Can you walk us through the rest of this, please? Yes. So um, at we we continued out this meeting from till July so that the applicant could go before the uh, ZBA for a variance. That was approved at the last meeting, uh, which was on, uh, I forget exactly what the date was, but um, it was the end of June. Uh, June, uh, June 27th, I believe it was. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, I believe it was June 27th. So it was approved at that meeting. 
Um, I believe that the decision is being written up and going to be submitted with the town clerk. With the town clerk. Uh, what we have before us is a minor site plan modification decision. Uh, since this is didn't have a, um, a public hearing because it was a minor modification, mm -hmm. uh, there's some findings that, that we have in here that I, um, we should uh, go through. Yes, definitely. Uh, so the first one that we have is the building commissioner, town planner, and planning board determined that the proposed modifications are minor in nature and do not substantially alter the concept of the approved plan dated July 11, 2023. Almost so, exactly a year ago. Yep. Yes, so I believe the board should you know, uh, discuss that finding to make sure that everyone's in in agreement on that this is um, a minor modification and substantially does not alter from the concept of the approved plan. I certainly agree with that 100%. Did you see the modifications? Yeah. Good. I see them. Yes. Yep. No, you were here for it. This, this came before us in uh, originally in April. We continued it out into um, to May, which you were going to miss that meeting, but we continued it because uh, we wanted to get into July so that they could. Um, it was June uh, 20, June twenty sixth. Yeah. Okay, June twenty sixth. That's 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 when the, it was. Yeah, well, I'm good with the building commissioner and the town planner taking a, <clears throat> taking a look at it. Just a brief summary: what they decided to do was to uh, make their the, the the amount of work they were doing less ambitious. They scaled it back. However, they're retaining the full stormwater. Um, Construction or stormwater yes. plants uh, as they originally described it to us. So those aren't changing. Uh, and all the changes that they've made reduce the impact. I mean, if anything, reduce the impact, reduce the complexity. Yes. So this is one of the simplest things I think we've we've seen to date. Yeah, and the variance that they requested. So originally the variance they had was up to 75 feet, I believe it was. In height for the front of the building. Correct. Yeah. And then when they, for this new uh, variance that they went for, um, in front of the ZBA was 58 feet. Yeah, they it's substantially different. So it's, it's much, much lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <clears throat> Any other discussion on the first finding? Move to approve the first finding. Um, seconded. And then, yep. uh, Julie? Yes. Ken? Aye. Kathleen? Aye. Jeff? Aye. Chair votes aye. Did I do that right by calling yeah. on him? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a, so she's not going to vote on the overall. Oh, that's so that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. She's, right. it's, it's a finding. It's part of the decision. She can deliberate with us with this. On. Beautiful. And then the second finding? So the second finding is the, the planning board finds that the general and special conditions included in the planning board's July tw uh, 11, 2023 site plan and special permit approval are still current and applicable except as amended or superseded below. And so basically what this is, is just to reinforce that with this modification, the previous conditions that were set forth in their um, uh, approval still carry with this one. Okay. Um, and Jeff did have some minor comments, which I did put in, which is the and applicable. So that section was uh, something that Jeff had an edit on, which you'll see it, that's it's incorporated into this. Okay. And made it plural, but it's okay. It was just tech. in the last line and number two. It said was before. It says oh yeah. It says re-adding the areas of the site plan that was removed as part of this minor yeah. modification. I asked for the word were, yeah. and in the one before it, it said still current. I asked for the words and applicable. Yeah. As, except as amended or superseded below. Beautiful. That's all. Good. Too many years of reading findings, guys. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Uh, move to approve the second finding as presented. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearings? Yes, go so ahead. Basically, Dan. number two, you, you, you're basically saying in number two, Danny, that if they, just, if they decide to undo the minor modification and go back by <laughs> using the word, it's an unusual word, re-adding the areas so to the yes. site. Yes, so the way and the reason I said that is because they said that there's a possibility that in the future they may do that full build out but not right now. So eventually they'll have to come, um, they're going to, I think, add that in the future, 
the, those areas that they have just removed. So they'll have to come back with a new site plan approval, or a site plan application. Yeah, if you submit a new site plan review application, the applicant wants to move forward with re-adding the areas of the site plan that were removed as part of this module. Okay, thank you. And actually, Ken, if, if I may, Mr. Chair, um, Things are going to change enough between now and then that they're going to have to be in front of the planning board anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come. They, they're not. They're not getting a pass like, you know, the 204, the 2004 approval is still buildable, because things will change. Yeah. Great. Okay. So good. Um, what else do we need to do? I, I think Kathleen. Did you have a comment? I, I didn't have a comment on this question. It was just a general point of procedure question. Um, if Heather's not here, do we need to do anything about minute taking? No, she'll do it from the video. Yeah, she'll watch the oh, video. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. Thank you. That's a great question, and Heather will do it from the video. Okay. So mumble as much Any, as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? Yes. Yes, sir. The signature block. Do you yeah, want to yes, yes, he just told uh, me. Good. Thank you. And, and that's actually, looks like it's for all of them. Yeah. Yep. yep. It, it must have been just a carryover. Damn, line. you cut and paste. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, Hearing none, Julie, how do you vote? Yes. Ken? Yes. Kathleen? Am I voting on this? Sorry. Yeah, what are you voting for? I'm all confused. Is this the, is this the second finding, right? Number two. The second finding, yeah. The second, so second I, finding. I get to vote on these? On yes. The finding. It's part okay. of the finding. Just say yes, yes if they ask. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm right. not voting on Chair yet. votes. Yes. yes. Got it. Okay. Um, do we have to do the same thing for the supplemental conditions or no? Um, we can, uh, so. You can you can vote on them if you want to, but when you approve the full decision, the reason I went through yeah. the findings was those were because those were more specific to this project okay. than we typically have on our other findings. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say move to approve the minor site plan modification as presented. Yeah, I, I second. For if I if you don't mind, Soya Foods USA LLC address applicant of One New England Way, address One New England Way, parcel ID map seventeen, parcel eighteen. Zoning District Industrial Aquifer for Protection Overlay District, just so it'll end up in the minutes. Thank you, sir. Second. Any further discussion? Now, this time, Kathleen cannot. Okay. Correct. Okay. Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Aye. Jar votes? Yes, aye. So that yeah. is approved. Excellent. All right. So our uh, public hearing. I move to close the public hearing for the site plan approval, minor modification. So no, sorry, this is meeting. a public meeting, so it's sorry, not to close. It does not need to be okay. closed. And we did, and since the public hearing was never closed, we don't do we need we don't we need to open or can, just at the it's end. A, we need it's to a public. So this is a public meeting. So the difference. Yeah. The, the, so the other ones are public hearings. That's we will need to close. Yep. That's right. But I'm saying so we don't need to open 91 Grand Harbor Road, but we need to close it. And yeah, would, would you pr prefer to close before we do the findings and and. and um, um, no. okay. You can do either. It doesn't do matter it. to me. Let's do it at the very end. Just remind me so don't forget. Yep. So uh, on the table is 91 Groton Harvard Road. Lim uh from GPR is representing the applicant. Howdy. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Lim Hutt, GPR. Uh, you may all call me Hood. Uh, for sure. What? Oh, I didn't know that. I, I know that, uh, you know, I, I try to go by Hood, but Hood? I also try to introduce myself by my full name just because it says on my stamp. Uh, but obviously, Hood is easier. Well, welcome, Hood. Glad to see you again. Should we do the uh, stormwater permit first, do you think? Yeah, we can go through the stormwater well, permit do first. That. And, and I'm going to feel free, I'm going to let Danny lead. Feel free to add in anything that. If I may, just um, do we want to. Um, Kind of talk about the, uh, I think, few items that you had asked us oh, yeah, to yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, let's, 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 yeah, yeah, let's do that. Do we need to have anything on the screen, Danny? Danny no, we, okay. I think we, these are just what, some of the comments that came out of our last meeting mm -hmm. um, that we had we had asked them to go to the applicant. Yep. So the first one I've written down is uh, regards to the native planting, the mix uh, yeah. between the shrubs. Um, obviously, they don't mind having a mixture of you know uh, some some native and then some newer stuff. Um, I would ask that if, you know, I know Danny and Heather has been working on this um, uh, landscaping plan. If you have recommendation for a native plant that you want to give us, we okay. can certainly go over it during the uh, pre-construction meeting itself, but they're, they're certainly open to it. Oh, great. Um, uh, item number two is, 
This is in regards to the invasive Japanese knotweed lo located on the right axis path. Mm -hmm. um, so for the invasive, we're right now we have, uh, we're requesting a quote from a contractor or a well-end scientist to do this, the spraying application. Obviously, I think what we talked about last time is that the initial um, spraying has got to be done in two session, you know, one in the fall, one in the spring. And, you know, it's going to be a yearly application from there on until they're all gone. You know, just looking at where they are located right now, it's approximately almost 50-50 between the project site and the town land. So, you know, before we, you know, give a yes or no, we wanted to get um, an actual estimate for doing the work first. And then we can probably discuss that further at the pre-construction meeting. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we are right now. Um, obviously, it is an additional cost to the applicant. You know, we're just trying to give them a number and see what they decide. Yeah. But this is kind of where we are right now. Okay. Okay. Um, now item number three is about the screening for the adjacent uh, yeah. transfer station. Um, they're open to the idea of planting a few, uh, you know, Apervites or a few shrubs there. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to make sense to try to screen the entire, um, you know, 60 foot length, but they're going to try to plant whatever they can to, to kind of help mitigate the, uh, the screening. Okay. Um, and I think that's really it. Yeah. Um, the only question I have about the conditions, um, you know, all seem very reasonable. I believe under the site plan approval yep. general conditions number nine and ten, um, submitting an updated stormwater management report as well as the O&M. I, I believe we've done that, uh, but yeah. So <clears throat> that's just a general condition that in case, like if we're in this kind of situation where some some tweaks had to be done gotcha. after, and that's why um, it's just so that. After, once this decision is approved, mm -hmm. that whatever additional information, if there is any final revisions that came out of this, gotcha. that gets submitted. Okay. It's the same with the um, the one for the plan on number 16. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the same thing. It's just I leave it blank and just leave it after so that to make sure mm -hmm. that everything has been dealt with so that when we get the final sets, it's, we know it's the final set. I got you. Okay. Other than that? You good? Squared away. Yep. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go to, you want to go with the storm, major yeah, storm water management major storm permit. Water management. So on this one, we have some um, waivers. so the waivers we already went through we at the last those. meeting. Yep. Um, and I, so I put everything in there, um, the, the, the section, the request and the waiver request uh, vote. It was five zero um, for both. So I have both those sections in there. Um, put in the materials, um, the findings. So these are our typical findings that we have for our stormwater management permit, which we have we did in 33 3rd Street, but if you want to go through them again, we can as well. Is it necessary to vote for each of these findings? No, so we can we'll, we can do that. When you approve the decision in the end, you're approving the findings, the findings and, and the your conditions. Final but conditions. the reason, it was just different with the Nasoya project just because those findings that I put in there are not typical findings that we have. Okay. But if you guys want to go through the condition, um, the findings, it's it, you, you let me know. Now these findings seem to be consistent with the conversations that we've already had. Do you have a copy of this? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, these are all consistent with the conversations we've been having since the submission of the application itself. Okay, good. Ken, Julie, Kathleen, Jeff, any questions about the findings? Out of this point, thank you. General conditions, did you have any comments? So general conditions, these are all pretty straightforward. These yep. are, are the same ones that we had on our last, on our, you know, our template for uh, the uh, stormwater management permit. Some of them are similar to site plan approval, but there are additional ones in here that we have our, for our stormwater management permit. Um, I, I think the important one we should go through is our special conditions. So these are three that I carry over in every one, but nope. I think we need to just review each of these just to make sure they're special conditions. Yep. So if you could go to the last page or the Is second to last page. Stormwater or site plan? Stormwater. Okay. Uh, number seven. Six. 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 So 
these are the same ones that we had when we did the 33 Third Street and review. We went through each of them to make sure to determine whether or not the board wanted it for this spe each um, specific project. Uh, so for the first one is a stormwater maintenance fee or bond may be required to ensure the O&M of the stormwater system fee or bond. Uh, the fee or bond would be based on a cost estimate providing the value of five years of the O&M stormwater system. The fee or bond shall be, put in, uh, be in place prior to receiving the final certificate of occupancy before uh, from the building commission. So. So who? So it says the word may. So who ultimately makes the determination? I, so the board does. That's what I was wondering. Yes. So do we need to make that decision right now? Yes. Yes. So that's why. Um, that's why each of these conditions will go through. So in my opinion, since this is a the stormwater system is very, uh, there's going to be a uh, just one underground infiltration system. It's not like a detention basin. There's not a lot of maintenance a lot of like that maintenance that would go into it there is going to be you know the checking of you know through the inspection ports the clean outs but that's typical mm -hmm. and as part of the O&M they'll have to they'll have someone who will do that monthly mm -hmm. as part of that plan I, d I mean for this project I don't think this is a necessary special condition so if we if we feel that they, they don't require a fewer bond, we just scr we scratch it. We, we yeah, we we, we, we we just vote to not just have that within the decision. So may I, may I yeah. you say they are going to check it? Who's they? So as part of our um, in our conditions, they have to the applicant. Yes, will uh, have to hi he's gonna they're gonna hire someone because at the meeting that's what they stated. Yeah. They're gonna be hiring someone. They haven't stated who it was, but they're gonna be uh, hiring it. And they uh, the applicant whoever they hire will have to be submitting um, the o operation and maintenance logs that they've done for the full year. Okay. At the end. So the owner of the property is responsible to have an operation and maintenance. Correct. I just want to be very clear on this. Yep. Okay. Because um, it gets confusing. Yes, not not yes, in, a, yes. in a business, it's not as confusing, mm -hmm. but you also said Third Street in, the, in your conversation. Yes. When it's a homeowner, it's a totally different yes, animal. You're okay, you're correct. correct. Just yeah. want to be clear. And no. I just want to add a little small thing. Um, to kind of further uh, clarify who is taking care of the stormwater management system, um, you know, obviously the catch basin uh, within the pavement area has mm -hmm. got to get, you know, some pumped out. Uh, by a vax truck or whatever, but obviously the smaller catch basin that's sitting in the gravel area that's got to get checked monthly, that one has a separate, um, you know, uh, maintenance schedule. Obviously, you want to be able to go in there every month, take out the uh, silk sack, and then dump it out and make sure it's disposed of properly. So that one gets a, you know, very different log, and that's got to be done. That can be done by, you know, like an on-site personnel, employee, mm -hmm. you know, very simple, um, but. Just want to throw that in there. Yeah. And to kind of add a little bit more about the special condition number one, because it does talk a little bit about you know um, issuing the the final certificate of occupancy from the building commissioner. You know, obviously they're not they're constructing a brand new building. They're not going to be able to get a, a building occupancy permit unless we give you guys an as bill request for a final you know certificate and all that. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. And and built into the the conditions for this, we have stages at which they need to uh, notify the DPW when they're um, installing this, um, the, uh, the the stormwater system, um, and that way, you know, there's there are checkpoints to make sure things are being done properly. The work is um, being inspected as yes. it's being done. Exactly. So do we do we? Do we need to vote on this special case? Yes. Vote yep. So you'll that? vote to either keep it or remove it. So I just make a motion that the Air Planning Board not require a bond for this particular project, the 91 Groton Highway Road. Mm -hmm. Second. Any further discussion? Julie, how do you vote? Yes. Ken? Yes. Okay, Kathleen. No. Jeff? Yes. And, then, and the uh, chair votes yes. Aye. You take that good news take back it. to the... <laughs> good. And for the other two special conditions? Yes. So for this one, um, in the case where the town of Air takes ownership of a project from the, uh, from the owner, a maintenance fee will be required. An annual fee will be based on the estimated value of the annual routine, mm -hmm. O&M, and so, uh, the stormwater system. Additional fees may apply should additional maintenance be required. So this... Um, does not apply for this project. Typically where you'll see this is subdivisions where the town is going to eventually take them over. 
um, and they have like detention basins, catch basins, and all that that need to eventually keep you have to upkeep the O and M for it for the stormwater system. But um, in this occasion, it's going to stay private yeah. always. So, do we need this stuff for this condition? What do the rest of you think? Don't need it. Don't need it, Julie. Jeff, Kathleen. I don't I, see the need for that. I can think of a rare case when the town ends up with the property, but at that point, we'll deal with it. Okay. So, uh, I, can I make a motion then? I'd like to make a motion that we strike special condition number two and that we don't require um, a maintenance fee uh, in, 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 um, in light of the possibility of taking ownership of the project. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Julie? Yes. Thank you, Ken. Yes. Jeff? Aye. Chair votes aye. And then the third one? So the third one, um, as part of our stormwater regulations, a, no. at the end of the project, when a stormwater system is built, they need to um, get a certificate of completion on that, on the stormwater system itself. Um, and so uh, within our regulations, we require that that be uh, recorded at the Registry of Deeds. So that is a special condition that I kept in here, I yeah. think that is applicable for this project. It, 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 yeah, go, it goes on to state that not only does it need to be recorded the registry of deeds, but an electronic copy needs to be submitted to Danny's office. Move to keep condition three. Seconded. Discussion? Yes, please. So I'd just like to clarify the language and, and the, the thing where it says a certificate. I'd like to, to amend it so it says a certificate of completion for the project in, in accordance with the requirements of the stormwater management permit. So it just says a certificate of completion, but it doesn't refer what exactly that certificate is for. Okay. I'd like to so add the language that it refers to the four. this particular permit, the major stormwater management permit. Major. So I'm gonna give a shot. I think what you said is the certificate of completion for the project in accordance with the stormwater management plan. And, yeah, the accept, so with the accepted stormwater management plan for the project, okay? But it, yeah, so there's some reference to the fact that it's so in accordance specific permit. With because the, the language looked like it could be oh, not fair. fair enough, that's yeah. all. It's just, it's, it's the detail we didn't get to. So do you want to say in accordance with the stormwater management permit? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. I would say that okay. typically that's covered under the um, engineering certification, but yeah, that's fine. We're not engineers. <laughs> One way or the other, that's fine. has built certifications we've seen from GPR in the last five years. I don't know. Like to go back to the, you can report at the next meeting. You can go back to the office and let me know. So we have a, did, did, we I get think a did you make the motion? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so let's move, move, move. I, I consider that friendly, so move to Approve with Mr. Diskin's changes. Special condition number three. And did we already have a second? And I'm happy to give it a read. I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Julie, how do you vote? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Chair votes aye. So then we finally need a vote to approve the major stormwater manager permit itself. So moved. Actually, move to approve the major stormwater management permit. <laughs> permit number SW24-202. I already have it written out for you. Thank you. Do you, the, do you have the motion? The motion's on the second page. Oh. I was just going to make it up. Motion for uh, move to approve. Oh, thank you. Motion, uh, the, 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 the. motion for approval of the site plan pursuant to sec site. section 245, 5 and 6, stormwater management of air general bylaws. Subject to the standard conditions and special conditions numbered one through, I'm going to say special conditions numbered three in this exactly. decision. Exactly. And the following conditions presented at the meeting. Are you going to change the numbering from? Yes. So, so the special number condition number numbered number one. Number three is struck. Special condition number three is the only one we need. Yes, but it would be renumbered to be number one. Oh, yes. it would be version. renumbered. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Do I have a second? I second it. Why? Do we? Any further discussion? Yes. Go ahead, Ken. You sure you don't want to check the way he's got this? The motion for approval of the site plan. 
the it's you're right. Pursuant it's supposed to, to say storm water management yeah, permit. Can. And I was just going to wing it, and actually no, and I was actually going to quote the storm water okay. permit number. <laughs> okay, so uh, the motion is for approval of the storm water management permit. Management permit. Pursuant to. And you gave the number of the permit. Was it yeah. permit number SW 24 02? Yep. 2402. Now we're out right engineering the engineers. So 01 must have been the Ajos. Yes, it was. So we standing conditions, special conditions. Now it's number three. Special conditions. Number special conditions. It's going to be renumbered to number, number one. Number one, what's it takes the other It's the only one that lives, that, that, that made it Decision. through the uh, voting process. process. Okay. So that was my discussion. Jeff. Move to approve. And I think I seconded. Yes, right? yep. Jonathan seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote, Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. And the chair votes aye. So that's approved. Um, all right. So you're going to. This. So we're not going to. Uh, yeah, this will be updated. I, so yeah, on my yeah, Word yeah. document, I already have your comments set up, um, fixed okay, into good. this. Okay. Um, I just didn't. Uh, I just printed these out before that. This is actually what the permit looks like. This yes. particular document. Yep. This is the actual draft. Thank you. And then so we can get to the site plan approval. And we've already done all the waiver requests. Yep. All the waiver requests have been um, already done. They voted in there. Right there. Yep. I read through them. If this is the same draft we got, they, yep. yeah. I'm satisfied. I don't know about you, Ken. You have a finer tooth comb than I do. Um, Did you get what time this morning I sent you that email? So, what time was it? Might have been 420, 425. Okay, so with this, we have to go through the findings, right, Danny? Yeah, um, so. We don't have to go through the findings on this one because um, when you approve it, these are j our findings that we typically already have in our site plan approval template anyways. I've noticed that. So okay. there's um, nothing special here. There's nothing me. special with this project okay. that I felt needed to be added into this. Okay. So if we just walk us, yeah, walk us through uh, anything that needs to be walked through here. So um, the, uh, the waivers. So, so we went through the waivers. Yep, those those already were already passed. on there. Um, we have our materials that was submitted. Yep. These are our findings. Which are consistent with any uh, approval, right? Yep. Correct. And then the usual general conditions? Yep. Usual general conditions. Uh, the, all the conditions that are in this one were in the stormwater management permit as well. Okay. And this has no special conditions that I can see. Not this one. Okay. There, there was no special conditions that we felt were, um, that were needed for this project. Except for the condition that Jonathan loses a vowel in his name when he signs it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I need to lose some weight anyway. <laughs> so thank you, sir. Um, Move to approve the site line. Oh, I just want to ask a question for I'm sorry, Jeff. No, so the okay. modification plan, section six, there's nothing we need to discuss there with that section six of this? No, so section, section, section six is something that I carry in, in all of our site plan approvals okay. so that we have the difference, the difference between what a minor modification is and what a major modification is. Mm -hmm. Great, I'm sorry, Jeff, you may proceed. That's right, I was going to move to accept the site plan approval for North Atlantic Concrete. 278 rook. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm sorry. The applicant is 278 rook, is it not? No, the applicant the is not. Yes, I, I read the I So move to accept the site plan approval for North Atlantic Concrete, the address being 91 Groton Harbor Road, Air Mass, parcel ID map 13, parcel 8. Thank you, sir. As presented. Do I have a second? Can I second? Uh, oh, no, not on site plan. Okay. Uh, not the approval. The actual vote for the whole thing. Do I have a second? I'll second. Chair seconds. Any further discussion before we go to vote? No, uh, hearing none. Julie, how do you vote? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations, huh? Congratulations. Have a nice summer. 
the making of sausages we'll you, and the making of chicken. Sure you're we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you have something for us two weeks? Do you have anything else for us? Uh, <laughs> we have a couple of things coming up. Yeah, we do. Um, but they're just at a standstill right now, unfortunately. We're trying to work through those. They want so. a Scully Road they were working on or something. Yeah. Are you doing a Scully Road? I don't know. We are. We, we're waiting for a decision from uh, Charlie at the moment. Okay. Before we that zero forward. Scully, I think we've had some conversations about that before. Okay. Well, in either event, still, I'd like to still make a good summer. And we need to I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing for 91 Grand Harbor Road, map 13, parcel 8. Seconded. Oh, okay. I seconded. Yep. Uh, any, any discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote, Ken? Yes. Julie? Yes. Jeff? Aye. And the chair votes aye. So Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Stay cool, literally. I'll, I'll, let you, I'll send you an email with the dates and everything on when it's uh, okay. to pick it up and all that. Yeah, I know, but most of them will follow the pre-construction meetings and stuff like that. Too. Right. Thank you. Um, we do not have a representative of uh, 77 Fitchburg Road. We do not. But can we that, go ahead. And we go we ahead. can. Yeah. Okay. They. They. Um, Kevin knew that we were doing the decision, and the applicant knows that we're doing the decision. Okay. Um, they. They had a chance to review the decision. They did not give me. A, they didn't have any comments. No comments. No, no comments. Uh, Kevin did provide me with the waivers, which we'll have to vote on and go through. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, we need, we'll need to do that. Yeah, so with this project specifically, 77, so due to the fact that it's just a change of use, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, additional things that we require under our site plan regulations that didn't apply to this project That's because right. all they're doing is internal fit up yep. and that new egress on Oakhurst. Um, so I didn't. Uh, so I, I had Kevin uh, provide me with a, a list of waiver requests that they need, um, specifically for this project, um, and just for future reference, this is something that, with a minor site plan, we would get be able to get rid of all these waivers that because they just wouldn't be part of it in the first place. Exactly. Wouldn't be required. Yeah. Do and I assume we have to go through each of these one by one. Yes. And can Kathleen vote any of these? No, not the waiver request on this because, okay. All right, All right so let's go to. We refer to, excuse me, Mr. Chair. We refer to Kevin. You, you said Kevin, so. Kevin well. Conover from um, uh, David E. Ross Associates. Thank you. Sorry. So uh, shall I just read? We go one by one. Shall I read and then say the request? I'm okay with him not being here. <laughs> All right. So the first waiver request is regards uh, Section 4B, Building Structure and Appurtenances. The requirement says that the plan shall depict the location of all new buildings with associated grading and structure height. This project does not propose any new buildings, and the proposed use does not require any new grading for the property, and therefore does not require any architectural drawings. In addition, the proposed use of this project will not require any exterior signage. Thank you for putting the reasoning. Move. So, the, the, yeah, these, this is what I request from them. They, yeah, they put the reasoning in. Move, move. I appreciate that. Move to accept the waiver request for Section 4B, Building Structure and Appurtenances, as read, as read by the Chair. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Ken? Yes. Julie? Yes. Julie? I mean, Jeff? Yes. And Chair votes aye. So that waiver has been approved. The next waiver request is Section 4C, Landscaping, Open Space, Drainage, Stormwater, and Environmental Features. During a pre-application meeting, it was determined that the proposed use of the property will not require a stormwater management plan or any proposed landscaping. May I ask a question, Mr. Yes, sir. Chair? Who made that determination, please? Uh, that was uh, between myself and uh, the building commissioner. Thank you very much. Move to approve Section 4.C, Waiver for Landscaping, Open Space, Drainage, Stormwater, and Environmental Features. Seconded. Any further discussion? Yes, I think Jeff had a good question. I think somehow in the response they should you should include that language, not just pre-application, but add during our pre-application meeting with the building commissioner and the town planner. The meeting was determined so that we, we understand it. Yeah, and I guess the question I have, and this is not not an argument, yes, yes. but typically strong water I would think would be a DPW input. Actually, but again, but, but again, in this project, it's the reuse of the inside of a building, so I don't see yeah. it as applicable. Don't need to go down that road right now. Thanks. Thank Just think it really clears it up when yep. we say Thank you. Do you accept that? Friendly? Absolutely friendly amendment. Absolutely okay. acceptable. Good. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Chair votes aye. Um, third waiver request, section 4D utilities. Uh, the project as submitted intends to use the existing utilities on the property. Anything else that needs to be said here? I'm going to assume that the section 4.D talks about how you're going to bring the new utilities to the, pro to the project. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Move to accept the waiver request for 4.D utilities. Second. All right, we have a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. The chair votes aye. That waiver is accepted. Uh, fourth waiver request is Section 4E, Vehicular Traffic Circulation and Parking. As stated above, the project proposes a minimal amount of parking and the proposed use will not require a specific traffic flow or traffic impact statement. As discussed, I think the idea was two or three employees from across the street and, this, uh, and the estimated traffic was maybe two or three trucks? Uh, uh, it'll be a box truck that may come at late at night, like um, just between their uh, their switch of the shifts. Move to approve section 490 waiver request for vehicular traffic circulation and parking as submitted. Seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. And the chair votes aye. That's been, that waiver is accepted. Fifth waiver is uh, Section 4F, Pedestrian and Bicycle Circulation and Safety. This proposed use of this property does not necessitate this requirement. Given its location and its use, there's no anticipated pedestrian or bicycle circulation in that environment. Move to approve the waiver request under Section 4.F, Pedestrian and Bicycle Circulation and Safety, as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. Ken is seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Julie? Yeah. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Aye. Chair votes aye. That's been accepted. And there's one more. And there's one more. The final waiver request is uh, Section 4G Outdoor Lighting. Currently, the site is the necessary amount of lighting for the existing use and proposed use, and therefore will not require the detailed lighting plan or a photometric plan for any outdoor lighting. Right, they're not even adding any lights. Yeah, it's just not. the lights are there. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to. Um, if I may, Mr. Chair, yeah. and again, this is not to generate an argument or anything like that. Um, we're, I don't recall, we're neighbors, at the, the neighbors were at the last meeting about this. This is an opportunity for if you've got an existing situation that's not working for neighbors, where they could have input on lighting. Yeah, they were notified. So I just want to make sure neighbors are notified. Yeah, this is a public case. This, this, this is just one of those things where you know, you don't want to give the abutter no option yep. to address a problem. But since, again, it's the inside use of an, of an existing building, you know, if we didn't grant this waiver, they'd probably have to do with the photometric for the entire property, mm -hmm. which is, I think, uh, draconian. Certainly. So I would move to approve the waiver request for Section 4.G, outdoor lighting, as presented. Seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Chair votes aye. Yeah, if I may, just as an aside, this is an opportunity to fix a bad lighting situation should this come forward in the future. Okay. Um, and again, with the findings, these are the general findings, general conditions yep. of the standard boilerplate, um, as are after occupancy, and the notes about modification, these are just standard. There's no, no special conditions that I see here. No. And there's no construction condition, like general conditions about construction and any of that, because there's nothing really occurring on that site. I would move to accept the site plan approval for the permit PSPR 24-04, applicant AVS Incorporated, care of Jacob Cashin, owner James Moore Enterprises LLC. The address of the project is 77 Fitchburg Road, parcel ID map 11, parcel 16, the light industrial district as presented i have with, a, the, with the approved waivers go ahead thank you i just have a question about the language on the number one site plan approval i know he didn't read from that but it's still here in the written document subject to the standard conditions and special conditions numbered one through twelve there are no special conditions right correct yeah right, so I'll just, that. that's just going to be stricken so does that need a, a friendly amendment doesn't need that i just wanted for the record so we're striking that because it's not relevant here no i, I so that would have been that was going to be deleted when i get to the when i do the final draft 
Did I hear a second? I don't recall. You made the motion, right? I've got a motion from Jeff. I think we just got let's, a motion. Let's, let's ask for a second. I'm looking for a second. I will second. There you go. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, no. Joel, oh, go ahead. No. Um, so basically, Danny, what you're saying is we don't need any kind of final as built on this drawing here because it's just not any kind of work other than the driveway being punched on the other street. Yeah, there's 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 nothing other than just putting in that that gravel drive that and small it, at the on Oakhurst. Yeah, and they're going to have to get permit for that through DPW. Right. It's going to require it's going to require the um, yeah. drawing. Yeah, for on yeah through the DPW. DPW requires they 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 sell the driveway cut permit yep. and they get require all the paperwork and it will and it will get and then and then it's crazy if he doesn't record it i'll tell you that right now and then we'll, we'll also we have to sign off on the for the final uh certificate of occupancy too so uh, okay. you do i do so uh, for that one i'll by then this I'll was the project that i brought up the question of there was no accessible parking showing on the plan and they never really he said he was willing to put up a sign if, if, if the board wanted it. Well, what I'm getting at, he says five designated parking spaces, but there, none of those five are indicated to be Correct. accessible size. So that was my, I'd like to Yeah, Charlie, Charlie felt that it, it wasn't required based on his determination. Okay. That's I mean, he's, it's a private business that he employs only certain people, so... But you can't, you can't discriminate against... No, I, I, and I'm you know, not... I, I, I do. No, no, no. I don't mean it in that way. I mean, if, if, if he hires someone who is handicapped, needs handicap acceptable, they can always put the sign up when, if they need to. I'm talking about striping this, the space and putting it as a known space. Yeah, he could do it at the, the last one on the left. Okay. There's nothing to the I left. Just want to see it done. Period. I don't. I don't see it on the plan. So because I don't think it's because it, I know the building inspector said it, it wasn't required. Okay, I'll go up and paint it myself then. Where are we guys? You got a second and a discussion. I got a second. It was in mid discussion. We already have the second. Any further discussion? Julie, how do you vote? Yes. Ken. No. Jeff. Aye. And chair votes aye. So do we have an approval? Yes, we passed? do. We do. But can I ask, uh, just for the record, we'll need to know, why was that a no? Because in America, we put accessible parking in every project we take a look at. We have an accessibility committee in town, and I think they should be looking at every job that comes before this, any board that, that covers the requirements of the accessibility for parking, for sidewalks, for whatever case might be. And as a plan, we had a chance to do that right here and make it a condition. And we didn't, so I'm voting no. Okay. Similar to the photometric. At a much different level of importance, but yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Now a motion to close. We just need the motion to close the. Move to close yeah. the hearing for 77 Fitchburg Road, map 11, parcel 16. Uh, uh, a second it. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Julie? Yes. Ken? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Jeff, what's I? Close. We have projects. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll talk about it afterwards. Project status updates. All right. Anything, uh, anything new? So, um, I went by 42 Park Street to look at it. Um, as you, I'm sure everyone drives by by that area. The, the structure is basically completely up. Um, they, I think they're going to be starting interior and siding soon. Um, the site as a whole, they really haven't done much other than just the building getting that done. Um, I went out there just to look at the site to make sure that it, it, it still was looking good. They, the, um, it does look good. It, it, lit, it is a little overgrown in the back where the you know wetland area is in the back back. Everything's um, growing like crazy this week. <laughs> um, Weeds like dryness. Oh yeah, it's crazy. So it's 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 um, it's coming along. Uh, I they've been submitting weekly SWIP reports, so okay. they're staying on that, which is good. That's good. Um, 
the only thing right now is just going to be, you know, once they get ready to start doing the actual site to make sure that the uh, they're staying on top of that uh, erosion control. And just because all the way in the back, it's so overgrown, just to make sure that there's no issues. Um, I went over to uh, Panther Place. Um, that they were working on the sidewalk, the new sidewalk on the left-hand side mm -hmm. that goes to Briggs Circle. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Briggs Circle, the one on the left. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so they were working on getting that uh, d the gravel down for that. They were, um, and then um, that's really they were in working on the inside of the first house on the right. But that's really uh, the most work that's really going on right now. Um, I'm not sure. He, they just might be taking a couple of days off right now on starting any other construction. Okay. Um, and I, I'll update everyone on. Uh, so MBTA um, bylaw, we uh, I sent it out to to uh, to Jonathan and to Ken um, for our our meeting sometime next week. Um, Alan. Uh, I gotta get with Alan to figure out when it's gonna, when he wants to do it. Um, I know Alicia is free as well, um, but Alan's just been out. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to. Anything about Zero Scully? I mean. So Zero Scully, I know right now he's waiting on a determination from uh, the building commissioner oh, okay, between the, uh, they've had uh, Tom Gibbons, attorney Gibbons reach out to to Charlie on on the use. Is that the same? I'm going to go back to 42 Park Street for a minute. But is the Zero Scully the same piece piece of property that went to the Zoning Board of Appeals a year or so ago because it was a uh, I want to say it's not a landscaping company, but a landscaping wholesaler. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I can tell you it's the property just before you get to Shepley Hill. It's on the left-hand side. So if you're going down the road, Shepley Hills at the end on the left, it's the property just before that. Okay. It, it, it uh, butts, like, it's close to so the dam. So it's the open area there. Yeah, yeah, it's all. a building that's already there. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, there's, nothing there's, it's all wo it's all wooded. Um, there's, there's some, there's, yeah, it's, no, it's there's some, lot. yeah, it's a wooded lot. There's, like, floodplain over there and everything. But based on the design that they have, uh, that I've seen, it's, it's very small impact, very, very small. Okay, thank you. Because there was, a, a year ago, there was a, a project that Charlie said they needed to go to ZBA and get I think it may have been, it may have been the same property. Um, this was a building I, in it. Yeah, because I, I think it may have been the same property they were proposing to do a landscape, but the use was not in our table or something. Yeah. So I think it may have been. Just okay. based on, on oh, what okay. I have in my records, I know a Zero Scully did come to you guys, was supposed to come to you guys, but never made a submission, so I don't know if it's the same one. Okay, thanks. I know about this project, and I'm, I have to think about it. I met the gentleman at the Shepley walkthrough. Yes. With, um, he used to be a Bedford fire. Um, yeah, he's fire a fireman who has a... Um, a fire protection alarm company. Yep. Right. And he's finally reached a point in his career where he can own a piece of property to run his business out of, and that piece of property works for him. Good. I've forgotten the gentleman's name. What? Not, yeah. Actually, what? Great guy. Yeah, he was. Incredibly high energy for somebody of my uh, more energy than me can. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I ask? Yes. You, you skipped on it quickly. The MBTA. Um, yes. I'd love to see if there's a draft just to read it. Yeah, I'll send that over to you. I you sent know, it to, to them because just because we were having a meeting. We're, we're setting up our meeting. No, I, I get it because we can't have quorums and stuff like that, but that's something that I was... Yep, I'll send that over to you. Yeah. Uh, for, for Ken's reappointment for your affordable housing... I'm going to go back to 42 Pilots. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Ken updates. So here's a question that I want you to think about, and maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Is there a dumpster on the site... Is there a dumpster on the site? I don't think there is. I know there's a, so, do you know where the, um, they have like a container between the two properties? There's a dumpster over here. I don't know if that's, if they had asked the 44 Park Street to use that dumpster to store it there. I know they used to have a dumpster on site. 
um, it was a smaller one. It was like one of the ones that you would typically see at a, a store. Yeah. Okay. yeah, like one of those, um, the ones that just come in through the front, tip them up. Um, but I don't, I don't think I saw a dumpster when I was there today. I'm concerned that uh, just creating a pile of trash over there from construction debris. Out there? Oh no, the, I, I walked the site. It's a clean site. Okay. Very clean. I, They've fine. kept it very well. I was surprised the other day. They were uh, just before the Fourth of July. I was over there, and they were loading debris onto a truck. Okay, fine. So they, I think they're doing. I think they're loading out at the end of the day. Quite honestly. Yeah, she yeah. she's kept the site very clean. And yeah, and Good. she's been there. I've I've seen the applicant there yeah. more times than I would. I actually I think they were having a very serious discussion. The applicant and the uh, okay. GC. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. She's very hands on. Um, he owns it. She should be else very hands on. Anything else? Forty two Park Street. No. So for the, uh, is there? Do we need to vote or anything for the yeah. Yeah. move to reappoint Ken Diskin as a planning board member of the Affordable Housing Working Group? Seconded. Um, and Kathleen can vote on that. We can all vote. Excellent. So. Um, can, uh, can Ken vote? Mm -hmm. Ken, how do you vote on this? Well, you want any discussion first for clarification? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I wasn't even, I was going to put in should he be sure. willing to do it, but I decided not to. So, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, some discussion. For clarification, I'm also on the Affordable Housing Committee, and the Affordable Housing Committee has two members already on the working group, so I could not be a representative from the Affordable Housing Committee. So for clarification, I need to be the represent a representative from the planning board so that we don't create a quorum when we meet as a working group. So there are two of us from the planning board. It's Nathan King Nathan. and myself, and there are two people from the Affordable Housing Committee. Therefore, no quorum ends up happening. Correct. Excellent. Um, Thank you for the clarification. Affordable Housing is um, what? Affordable Housing Committee. Yeah. Yeah. That's Janet. That's Janet's committee. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. Any further? Ken, how do you vote? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Julie? Yes. Jeff? Yes. And the chair votes aye. Um, Thank you, Ken. Can I just one thing on the working group? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> can yeah, we, you? We just had a big meeting. <laughs> yes, yes. We, we actually had actually had a big meeting, and it actually went very well. Um, we have some, some good things to think about and uh, a, a direction in, in which we want to go with this new set of um, meetings for the fall. Um, the uh, On our list right now is the inclusionary housing bylaw. Get that um, updated. Uh, so that I've started working on. Um, uh, I'm hoping to get the, uh, the working group of uh, um, the, the draft or something close to a draft for our, me our next meeting. Uh, which I believe is July 23rd, something like that. Um, and then um, some of the other is to figure out how we're going to uh, expand, uh, you know, uh, bring in more affordable housing in the sense of infilling projects and bringing in a more affordable pro um, housing in, in the sense of uh, possibly with the inclusionary housing bylaw being changed under oh under inclusionary housing bylaw being changed and payments in lieu like thinking about you know what the potential for that is to that we could do for you know going down the uh, in the future for that possibly buying a property you know for affordable housing there's different options that we've been discussing um, there's also been discussion about you know looking at uh, looking at the A1 zone, the dimensional requirements in there, seeing if there's any way we can maybe try to make them a little bit smaller, just to see uh, does it work. So uh, that's another option that we're just looking at. Uh, so I feel like we have some, some good discussion uh, ideas to, to start thinking about and you know over the next couple of months we'll really start narrowing down what it is we're going to be bringing to uh, the next town meeting. Excellent. And then also, history on this on this group. Can I was told that this uh, the working group is a group from the planning board. Um, it was it was 
No, it's a co-group. No, so multiple groups. So, it, 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 well, meaning it okay. came. It was. It, it was created from the planning board voting to create it. Is what no. I was told. No. So that's no. what I'm trying to understand no. the history. So yeah. if I may, from the affordable housing committee, Jan Povedek, Jan Povedek is the chairman of the affordable housing committee. There were there were discussions. I, I I believe I was chair at the time, and there was a discuss. There were discussions that we have the affordable housing trust. We have the affordable housing committee. We have um, uh, Jan also chairs the CPC. No, uh, the housing authority. The housing authority. Oh, the housing. And it gets a little, and, and the trust hadn't existed yet. Mm -hmm. it was, we were very, very infant, in the infancy of that. And it was determined that we've got so much energy around affordable housing that it would be nice to have experts from the planning board, experts from the committee, experts from the housing, tr the, the housing commission to get together. It's not, it doesn't exist in our bylaws. It's a working group. Mm -hmm. And that was the genesis of it. So if anybody was going to take, uh, either <laughs> carry the mantle of, um, of creation, I blame it on Janet Povedakis. It, it, it started out um, also with the concept that we were going to be working towards zoning changes. That, yeah. that was always part of the concept. But also that we needed to have Town Hall on board with us. That's why we asked the planner and Charlie Schultz, so the commissioner, to be involved. Uh, I think... Initially, it started out more as a, a group of people and, and citizens, but it, it got bigger when we were able to get you guys involved in town hall. And, okay. yeah. and, and it really what it comes down to is lots of people were working on affordable housing in different ways. We're doing inclusionary, we're doing, um, uh, we're, we're doing our stuff with bylaws. Mm -hmm. there, it, so it just made sense to put these people in a room together and get everybody putting oil in the water and pulling in the same direction. Okay. So that's why it exists. Just and we went to the that that you know, that's a fantastic question that you asked, incidentally. Okay. I think it's appointed by the that's select right. board. Yes. And that's what I also right. was right. I believe it's was appointed I, by the select board. What I was also under the impression was I was told that went to the select board. Yeah, yeah. we are going to the select board. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I just yeah. I, want, I want to make sure to get this on the record. Yeah. Oh, okay. But no, it, it was not. It, it it was not born from the planning board. Okay. Right. And we have an obligation, I believe, to report back to the select board, like and every three and months, that's, or yeah, six and, months and, which and we did before town meeting. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What you did before town meeting, I should say. And, and, and Danny, the, the the challenging thing here is, uh, there was a time way before you got to town, where it was difficult to populate required commissions and. Uh, boards, mm -hmm. so every commissioner board out there wanted a can't, wanted a member of the planning board, or yeah. the select board on it. Yeah. So at one point we were yeah. looking at you know, we have a meeting every night of every week of yeah. every month, and so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, before we vote on the, the May twenty eighth minutes, I just have a question. Do you know what minutes are still open that we need to? Uh, what, what, how caught up are we? What remains? I believe. He, uh, Heather said that the May 28th meetings were the la was what we had open, and then she'll she has to get us last meetings. What about so so the two June meetings we haven't did do we vote? Is it possibly voted on the June 11th? Yeah, we did the we did the June so 11th. The only, so, so after this, we skipped be, the 28th, so it's the right. June 23rd, June 25th meeting. So we'll only have the June 25th and today's meeting. Correct. After we vote on this, so yes. just June 25th. And then this, but otherwise we're yeah. Okay, great. So on the table are, uh, are, are, are is the approval of the May twenty eighth, twenty twenty four, air planning board minutes. So I have a motion. So moved. I will second. I believe that Ken cannot vote because he wasn't there. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. But Ken, Kathleen. Uh, I think I was yeah, actually Kathleen there. Yeah, Kathleen was not there either. She wasn't there either. But yeah, Jeff was you, there. You three. Us three. Yeah, I saw my name all over those, so I assumed I was in did, the room. Did, did I get a motion to for the approval in a second? Yeah, yeah I did. Did I get I, said, yeah, yeah, I seconded, yeah. right? Okay. Julie, how do you vote? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Chair votes aye. Thank you, everybody. Um, motion to adjourn. Thank so, you. So move. Have a wonderful evening. Stay cool. Bye, everybody. Julie. Try and stay dry on the way home. Bye, everybody.